and welcome to the Spice Box. Today I'm going to tell you how to make the mother of all Indo-Chinese dishes, the Gobi Manchurian. Now this dish is popular across the length and breadth of our nation. Everyone seems to enjoy this street food or it's extremely popular even in restaurants. Let's see how it's done. One medium sized cauliflower, cornstarch, all purpose flour, soy sauce, some red chilli powder, a cup of water, black pepper powder, some salt to taste, vinegar, green spring onions, tomato ketchup, soy sauce, green chilies, spring onions, ginger, garlic and some bell peppers. Alright, so what I've done with the cauliflower is cut them into florets and I've blanched it in some hot water and salt. Okay, so what we're going to do now is you have one cup of all-purpose flour, put that into a bowl and then you want to add four tablespoons of corn flour to this you can add some chili powder how much ever you want however spicy you'd like it really I've used about a teaspoon and a half but half a teaspoon of black pepper powder give this a stir And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of dark soy. Go ahead and add one cup of water. Add a little bit of salt to taste. Again, keep in mind that you've added some salt while blanching the cauliflower. to set this really well so that there are no lumps at all. Well now that this is ready, I have some oil on the flame. It's quite hot now. I'm going to dip each floret into the batter, coat it well. Drop it in there. You want to make sure you coat all of the florets evenly. So you get a nice and crisp covering. You gotta fry it, you gotta fry it till it's golden brown. See, it's a beautiful golden brown now, so you can take it off the flame. Alright, so we have our fried gobi here that's left aside. I've got some oil on a pan. I'm going to put in my garlic. There's about 10 pods of crushed garlic in here. Go ahead and fry this really well till it maybe turns to a golden brown. Careful not to burn it though. Garlic tends to burn very easily and very quickly. Once you see the garlic start to shrivel, go ahead and add the finely chopped spring onions. Maybe half a cup, more if you like. You can throw in the uh, green chilies. I have three finely chopped green chilies here. Some of the um, green spring onions. Just a little bit of pepper powder, just a little bit of ginger, you add two teaspoons of tomato ketchup, some vinegar, about a teaspoon and a dash of soy sauce. Add some salt to taste and throw in the bell peppers now. Make sure your bell pepper is a nice and crisp and crunchy so you don't want to overcook it. I'm going to throw in the gobi. Make 
mix it up really well so that everything gets coated with the onions and the entire mixture that we just fried now. All you gotta do is sprinkle some spring onions on it. All right, now this is my favorite part. Mmm, fantastic. Soft on the inside, crispy on the outside. Wholesome goodness. Perfect for an evening snack. Go ahead and make your gobi material now.